What's up guys, it's Instinct here, and today I'll be showing you guys how to make particles in Cinema 4D without using the plugin X Particles. You guys can do this on any version of Cinema 4D without any plugins, however I would recommend Cinema 4D R21 or higher, as there are a few particles that I will be using uh, that you need R21 or higher for, but you can really make particles with any version of Cinema 4D, and I'll show you guys some different techniques to get different styles of particles. If you guys want to cop my particle pack, it is completely for free. Go ahead and check the link in the description, it will be linked in the description. And while that's it, guys, let's jump right into the video. So I'll be showing you guys how to make particles three different ways. One way requires R21 or higher, and the other two ways require any version of Cinema 4D. So the first method can be done in any version of Cinema 4D. So what we're going to do is go ahead and grab any shape you guys would like. Just go ahead and hold down. Uh, for me, I'm going to go with a sphere and change the segments to 50. By the way, if you guys don't see the geometry on the object, go ahead and click display and go to ground shading. From here, what we can do is go ahead and hold down right here and get an explosion, the one with the bomb. Go ahead and drag it into the sphere with the air pointing down like this. And just increase the strength. And just like that, if you guys increase it to like 60 to 70%, just like that, you guys have some particles. Now, what we can do is go to the explosion and increase the speed. And this just kind of makes things fly a little bit further. Just kind of pushes them out. And if you guys decrease it, it brings it in closer. So just go ahead and mess around with that to get some different looks. Now if you guys go back into the sphere and change the segments, this will also um, affect the result as well. The more segments, the smaller the particles, but the more the particles, and the, the less segments, the bigger the particles, but uh, the less of them. So if you guys go down to 10, you don't get too many particles, but they're pretty big. So just go ahead and find the sweet spot. Personally, I think 50 is the perfect combination of size and amount of particles. So this is method number one. And again, remember, this works with anything. So we can go ahead and grab a pyramid as well, like for example, and just change the segments to like, like 30. Let's go with and drag the explosion into the pyramid. Just like that, we have some particles. So really, this works with any shape you guys would like to. And yeah, hold on. And yeah, so this is method number one. All right, so method number two um, requires Cinema 40 R21 or higher because you guys will need the volume builder and volume measure. So once again, we're going to go with, uh, I'll go with the cube this time. Or actually, I'm going to go with the sphere again. And for segments, we're going to do 50 again. And from here, what we want to do is go ahead and hold down on the volume builder, these three cubes. Go ahead and get a volume builder and drag the, the sphere into the volume builder. And from here, what we want to do is go ahead and get a volume mesher as well and drag the volume builder into the volume mesher. And this will just kind of smoothen everything out. Um, now from here, what we want to do is go ahead and add a uh, explosion once more and drag this into the under the sphere like so and just increase the strength drag it onto the sphere like this make sure it's a, a child of the sphere and just like that we have our particles now this is more like a liquidy effect I did this effect in my milk text tutorial my liquid text tutorial if you guys saw that video this is basically the same method um, but now from here, we can decrease the voxel size. So like, maybe like seven, I think. Seven's a bit too small, so I'll go with like eight. Eight or nine, I think is the sweet spot. 10 as well. Um, now, it's a little bit too small, so we could either increase the size of the sphere, like this, or we can just um, increase the size of the entire thing as well. But I'm going to just increase the size of the sphere like this and also mess around with the segments. So I think, if I remember correctly, less segments will give you uh, bigger shapes. Um, so go ahead and select everything. You guys can also rotate things up, um, around like so. And here are some particles. Now these are a little bit janky. If we go to like display and turn off ground shading, you guys can see they're like a little bit sharp. 
so and jagged so what we can do is add a subdivision surface like that and just like that it smoothens everything out um, if we go out of our camera there's not too many so I'm going to increase the segments let's go with like maybe a hundred this time see what this is looking like and there we go I'd say this looks pretty nice for some particles these are more organic looking particles I would say so that is method number two um, of course let's drag a material onto these um, by the way the Lightroom and the materials are completely for free uh, just check the link in the description and you guys can get these for free uh, but I'm going to drag the material onto the subdivision surface click cubic and seamless go ahead and click the button to render and just like that these are our particles they look really really cool um, so that is method number two um, and then the third and final method is the most basic method but it just goes to show how uh, simple things can be sometimes so the third method is just to simply clone a bunch of shapes uh, for example uh, I'm, I like doing cube for this one so uh, for the size we're gonna go bump things down to two across the board it might be a little bit too small but we can always change things later so go to MoGraph and go to cloner and drag the cube into the cloner arrow pointing down like so um, I'm gonna hop out of the camera for this one and the cubes are a little bit too tiny so I might change this up to like four on all of these um, at least just for now so we can see them a little bit easier and go to cloner and for the count I'm gonna do like 15 across the board on all of these so we have something like this it's pretty trippy but kinda cool at the same time um, now from here we're gonna change the size so this isn't the size of the cube it's just this the distance between the cloned objects on the x-axis this is the y-axis and this is the z-axis I believe I'm honestly not 100% sure because they change it up um, but um, I'm gonna put this down to like 50 on each of these see what this looks like and go back in our camera and I'm actually gonna go back out of our camera actually I think this is looking good but I think I think I'd rather prefer it a little bit closer, so I'm gonna maybe like try 30 on all these. Uh, like this. I think that that's working well. But it's basically kind of makes the shape of a cube. So to fix that, what we're gonna do is add a random effector. You guys can also add a push apart effector or both of them as well, but I just prefer random because it kind of does everything all in one so for the strength I'm gonna go with 500% and this will just increase the strength of the random effector obviously um, but when we go into parameter we can also check rotation and get some randomness in the rotation as well so just drag these you guys can also go negative as well just random numbers um, and then for this again random numbers but I usually like to go with like Hundred, so like maybe three hundred seventy-three. Um, just, just random. Just kind of push these apart. And this is the push apart, by the way, that I was talking about before. Well, it's not actually the push apart, but it's basically the same effect. And just like that, we have some particles, but they're really just cubes, just cloned. But I think this just goes to show like how basic some things can be. Sometimes these are some cube particles. Um, and again, you guys can do this with um, like. Pyramids, uh, toros, capsules, really anything, cones. Um, and you guys can also add displacers as well. Uh, I forgot to mention that. Um, so if we go back to, um, let me put this in there like so. If we go back to this, this one, the liquid you know, uh, particles. For this one, if we hold down right here, and go to displacer you guys can get some more interesting um, shapes as well if we put the displacer on the sphere and we go to shading click this arrow and go to noise and we can get some different um, effects like different looks so we can displace these a little bit further go with like electric as you guys can see it's changing a little bit and I usually like bump the global scale down a little bit 
and then increasing the contrast. As you guys can see, it just kind of displaces and warps the shapes a little bit more. Um, again, you guys can do this on really anything. It's all about experimentation and just comboing things. What works better, like what works well together, and such like that. Um, uh, twist is also another good one that I would recommend. I did twist in a couple of them as well. Uh, but that's basically it for this tutorial. Here are the three particles that we made. We made we just cloned some objects, cloned some cubes for our first particle, and then for our second particle, we used the volume builder and volume mesher to get some more organic particles. And then for the third one, um, we just kind of made some basic. Uh, cube or square particles. Um, I would actually recommend going a little, something with like 75 segments and just pushing this up a little bit more. I think there could be a little bit more particles. Yeah, I think something like that is a lot better. But um, add uh, the material, of course. I think red works with this style, uh, these particle styles best. Yeah, these look really, really nice. Uh, but yeah, that's basically it for this tutorial, guys. These are three different ways to make particles. These are literally the three ways I made my particle pack. Uh, once again, if you guys have not copped that pack, go ahead and get it. It's completely for free, as well as these materials and the Lightroom. So there's really no reason not to get it. And if you guys get my particle pack, make sure to tag me on Twitter at Instinct. T Y T. That's instinct with two T's and then Y T. Um, but yeah, go ahead and follow me on Twitter as well. And yeah, if you guys make anything in my particle pack, like I said, tag me and I will like it and support it as well. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, guys, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know what tutorials you guys want to see, what like content you guys want to see as well. Uh, with all that said, guys, it's been Instinct signing up for now, guys. Peace.